Welcome to the Blind Guy Show Radio. Here's your host, Greg. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the Blind Guy Show. My name is Greg. Today's show is a continuation of last week's video using a Bluetooth keyboard with voiceover. If you would like to check that video out, I will drop a link down in the description box below. So today I thought I would show you how I use the Mail app on an iPhone. I am running the current iOS version, 12.4. So let's get started with this. All right, so I'm going to press Control down arrow ah, messages. To, get, to get to the bottom right hand corner of my screen because my Mail app is in my dock. I'm going to left arrow. And I'm going to press the up and down arrow together to launch the app. Okay, so when you open up the mail app, as you may know, it takes you right into your mail list. So I'm going to press control up arrow to get to the very top of the screen. Mailboxes. That button. And there's your mailboxes button. You can Press the up and down arrow key to activate that button. Mailboxes. Mailboxes. Heading. So this is where all of your mailboxes are. Your VIP, flagged, drafts, spam, trash, all of that. And you can go down through this page by pressing the right arrow. Edit. Button. Inbox. One and message. Button. VIP. Button. Flagged. Button. Drafts. Button. Sent. Button. Junk. Seven and red messages. Okay, and you can use the up arrow and down arrow together. So I have an email here from Kodak Moments. I'm going to press the up and down arrow to open this mail. And I believe it puts you into the body of the email. Now I'm going to control up arrow to go to the top left of the screen and it landed on the back button. So I'm going to arrow through this email. Previous message. Dim. Button. Next message. Button. Kodak moments. This message is from the mailing list. Unsubscribe. Button. Dismiss. Button. So I can unsubscribe from this right at the top of the email page. From. Kodak moments. Address. There's the from field. To address. Button. There's the to field. Hide button. There's a hide button. Subject. Last days to save 30% on photo panels. The subject. Today at 8.31 a.m. Vertical line, code Aquilaris, vertical line. Image. In store special offer. Okay, now we're in the body of the email. And soon. Enjoy 30% off photo panels. Link. Image. So now I'm going to press the control down arrow to get to the bottom right hand side of the screen. Compose. Button. And here's where you can compose a new email, reply, Button. reply to this email, archive, Button. archive move. Button. Mark message. Button. move, mark. So let's say I wanted to reply to this email. So when I press the reply button, reply button, there is a reply button, forward button, a forward button, print button, print button, cancel button, and cancel. Print button, forward button, reply button. So I'm going to reply to this. Reply. Read last days to save 30% on photo panels. Message body, text field, is editing. Sent from my iPhone. On August 28, 2019, at 8.31 a.m., Kodak Moments less than, offers. So it automatically puts me into the body of the email, but I am going to press control up arrow Quit that on. and it auto fills my information into the from field. Minimize draft. Button. Okay, so I can minimize this and save it as a draft. Cancel. Button. Or cancel. Read last days to save 30% on photo panels. Heading. Send. Button. And there is my send button. It auto fills the to field as well. CC, text field. 
There's my carbon copy field. ACC. Text field. Blind carbon copy. CC slash BCC. Subject. Wait, last days to save 30% on photo panels. Text field. I can change the subject by insertion point at end. Quick nav off. Pressing the up and down arrow at the same time. So I'm going to turn quick nav back on. Quick nav on. And continue arrowing down the page. Notify me. Button. Message body. Sent from my iPhone. On August 28, 2019, at 8.31 a.m. Code at moments less than. Offers at email. Message body. Sent from my iPhone. On August. And I'm right back into the message body. Insertion point at start. Quick nav off. Quick nav is off. Insertion point is at the start. And I can begin writing this email. Okay, so I do not want to send this email, so I will press control up arrow. From minimize draft. Up. Cancel. Button. And I will press on the cancel button. Cancel. Alert. Delete draft. Button. Search field. Code moments. Last days to save 30% on photo panels. 8.33 a.m. All right, I'm back here in my inbox. So I am on that Kodak email. So if I press the up arrow, listen to what happens. Delete. I have the option to delete that email. Mark. Flag. I can mark it, flag it. Mark on red. Mark on red. Archive. Archive. Activate. Default. Or open it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it by pressing the up and down arrow at the same time. Okay, so I'm back here in my inbox and let's say I want to send an email to someone. I'm going to press the control down arrow key. Compose. Button. So I will up and down arrow that. Compose. Two. Text field. Is editing. Character mode. Insertion point at start. Quick nav off. And it automatically puts me in the to field and quick nav is already turned off for me. L A H B L A H B L A H at blah 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 misspelled M A I L period M C O M. Okay, blah 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 at email.com. Quick nav on. Turn quick nav on. Add contact button. And press the right arrow key. CC text field BCC text field CC slash BCC. Subject. Text field. Okay, press up and down arrow to enter this field. Insertion point at end. Quick nav off. Quick nav on. Notify me. Button. Any. Message body. Sent from my iPhone. Text field. So press up and down arrow. Insertion point at end. Quick nav off. Insertion point at end. Quick nav is off. So let's just. Turn quick nav on and subject test message body text field is editing. This is a test email character mode insertion point at end. All right, so there you have a quick overview of using the mail app on an iPhone using a Bluetooth keyboard with voiceover on. So I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you have any more questions, just drop me a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope this helped and stay tuned for future Bluetooth iPhone voiceover videos. Thanks for listening and I will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in to the Blind Guy Show Radio. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications so you don't miss any more great content.